Oh, frab real estate. Where are you, purple coins? Is that a purple coin I spy over there? I don't think so, but I'll continue looping around this way until I find it. And I love you too, moving platform. You sure aren't a lazy idea. I mean, it was fun in old-timey platforms in game. No, it wasn't even fun in old-timey platforming games. Old-timey platforming games were hardly fun in themselves, but it did not need to be a beloved tradition of video game that has to be everywhere constantly. Okay, good thing for being able to jump, I guess. <sighs> if you want my... Oh, good. Okay, give me them, Toad, even though I already collected them. Uh, I don't like this. They should have put, like, 150 purple coins in every mission so you only had to find some of them, and then you could get, like, a bonus for getting all 150, except it wouldn't be a star, and it wouldn't be something I'm doing in this Let's Play. Oh well, I should really quit being so whiny. But, okay, there they are. I did not know that was there. I always miss, like, really obvious things like that. And it's annoying, but oh well. I have no reason to complain anymore because I found them, and I didn't know you could stand here. Okay, maybe because you couldn't. And good thing for spin jumps because I would not have a very fun time if I had to, like, go find a bee mushroom just to get this one last one. I'm just gonna have to be bad at platforming. Okay, good. It even spawned right on top of the lighthouse, which I'm right next to, but it was almost as if it was expecting no one to find those bloody, horribly hidden ones. Whatever. It's done now. I'm not going to fall off and die or anything. It's highly implausible that I would do that, especially with my utmost careful times and even improved from my regular careful times because of the current situation. And I, I'm sure you were all thinking I was going to somehow fall through there to my death, and I thought it too, so don't feel guilty about being horribly pessimistic and that word I don't know how to pronounce or how it's spelled or what it is. That means you hate everyone. Uh, whoops. I could have just jumped on this block and then flown up to this one, or I could have flown up to this one even without the block. Okay, um, I don't get it. Okay, fine, I have to do it a boring way where I actually use all the platforms. Okay, well that took way too long, but that'll only be a part in the third, I guess, so that's not so bad. And now I get to do a star I actually enjoy for once, and then I go on to a... Actually, all the galaxies after this I really like, so good job. I've cleared out the bulk of it. I was kind of expecting this to be more painful than it ended up being, but it ended up taking less time than, like, Krispy Kreme Galaxy or whatever. Oh, goody, 80 stars. That would be significant if I was in a game I can't think of off the top of my head. I think the amount you need to fight Bowser might have been up by 10 in Mario 64 DS due to the amount of extra stars, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I was going to say, oh, boo-hoo, there's not a comet, but then I remembered I got all the comets, hooray! So, um, I'll probably just pick whatever the easiest purple coin mission is that spawned, if there are any, and if not, I'll just go get that Hungry Luma that appeared after I get this, that is. This is still too slow, even though I have a Turbo to Koopa Shell. Toopa Shell, yes. I wish you... I wish they... Man, why isn't Shell Surfing like the Mario tradition after Mario 64 did it? better than everything else involving shells, except maybe Shell Mario and Super Mario Brothers. And I hope that, I think it was confirmed that it's going to return in Mario Brothers Wii, but that was like the best transformation, if only because I really, for no reason, related it with, um, what's it called, Mario, uh, Cape Mario, because it was the double power-up that wasn't a Fire Flower, or... I guess by that I mean mo power up that makes you Super Mario, except you actually do something interesting too. And those are my, always my favorite kinds of power ups. Well, I do like Mario 3, which had two tiered power ups, or three tiered power ups, I guess, because it goes Super Fire, Hammer, and Super Earth. 
Super Raccoon Tanuki. That was pretty cool. Mario 3 was a pretty cool guy. It wasn't as good as Mario Sunshine, but or Mario World, but none of the platformers were. And okay, goody. Extra star bits. I think that's all the Luma wanted. Ah, oh, it shot me all the way back here. I forgot about that. Man, I keep becoming hungry for random things. Probably should have. I don't know. I was gonna say probably should have eaten more, but like just a while ago, I had so many carrots, my stomach was hurting. I think carrots just naturally make my stomach hurt. Or maybe eating things that aren't the things I keep getting cravings for, which are like pizza and um, popcorn and other junk foods that begin with the letter P, like wieners. Um. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, I think, I don't even know if you can keep it, but if you can, this would make this guy a lot easier. But anyway, this is my favorite Hungry Luma star in the entire game, which is funny because it's in, like, one of my least favorite galaxies, although it's pretty okay now that I think about it. Just wasn't very interesting because it only had two star types, although this one isn't more, I mean, the collecting stars weren't really the same type. Oh, no, even Luma's emo it just killed itself because it was so fat. Anyway, I like this because I like the galaxy that this is a blatant ripoff of. But I don't I don't even care that it's a blatant ripoff of the other hurry scurry galaxy because I like hurry scurry galaxy and this is the same thing except harder because you actually have to get all the tiles in some way that isn't a retarded way that makes it possible to go. But I like doing things in retarded ways that makes it possible to go and I have a B suit so man. Uh oh that uh, would have been a bit annoying if I didn't have the bee suit, but if ifs and ands were pots and hands, I wouldn't have a bee suit anymore. Um, I don't think anyone but me has actually heard that saying, so it might just go over like uh, nothing that was understood, but basically it stems with the fact that no one uses pots and pans anymore, we just have robots. We put our food inside little robots, and the robots robot it until it's food. And by robots, I mean microwaves. Oh, and look, I even had an extra thingy left. And much like the first thing, or the first time I did this star, um, I like glitching it out, but sometimes it scares me if I glitch it out, and so I just jump right into it because I don't want to lose all the progress I had made even though it's fun progress and I wouldn't mind just playing that over and over for fun and high scores and win friends and money and stuff like that. Hurry, he's hungry! Oh goody, galaxy complete. I'm actually starting to complete galaxies. It's kind of weird doing that now because I just did things in random orders and I was already like at the garden before I could even fight Bowser, so I wasn't used to those galaxies being complete. Especially right after I had started them up recently. Okay. Oh yeah, I like how this in the area where you spawn shows everything. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get to the Planet of Trials in a little bit. I was gonna do it last, but then I remembered that wouldn't work because I have to beat Bowser again to do the last thing I was gonna do there, so... Meh. I'll, I'll probably get it this recording session before I move on to the garden, but I don't know. Oh good, finally. Or, good, but yeah, finally. Ah, my throat is breaking, I need to get some water. Um but yeah, finally other purple coins appeared. Uh, I really doubt that um this isn't recording, and if it isn't, I'm just gonna go cut myself to death and it won't matter because I won't even add these videos edited and it won't have mattered that some of them wouldn't work. Um It's hard to play while I'm holding my nunchuck sideways and controlling it with my right thumb while I'm just kind of holding a glass of water and looking at it. <coughs> okay, that's a little better. Uh, oh good, it's just a battle rock. The battle rock and the battle rock 2 have pretty easy comments. Actually, so does... I think the... It's kind of weird because both of the comments, the purple comments in here in my opinion at least, are since, yeah, sincerely, considerably easier than, oops, hit my mic, um, hopefully that didn't break anything. But yeah, both of these 
in this galaxy, yeah, this galaxy, this dome, um, seem much easier to me than, uh, the ones in the first dome, which is kind of funny because the uh, first dome is supposed to be easier. Hey, maybe it's, I mean, these are actually ones where you can lose on if you don't just be dumb and kill yourself somehow, but... I don't know, I like, I think that this kind is the kind I like, because it's not timed, but you still have, like, one shot at it, and you don't just get to dick around and level forever. I do like dicking around and level forever, but this is cool, too, so. Yeah, I really do like the purple coin comments, even if I whine about them a lot. 